what is a common UX problem and how to solve it? Well, today I'm going to show you on an example we recently uh, worked on. I'm going to walk you through our process and um, show you our final result. What is the problem we're facing? Well, we had this dialogue and it's for adding a user to a software. We had one task to add one option for the tablet user to define if he's an administrator or an operator. Before we start solving, let's understand the problem first. So all we had here was this dialogue and we haven't seen it before. So we started to play around and try to identify all options. And the only option we saw was clicking on this drop down, and you could see you can define the access type like access to tablet, access to computer, access to tablet and computer. And if you would click on these two, you would get new options for the menus down here. So tablet users have NFC tag and username for tablet, computer access entails email and password. And if you select those, you get all the options. That's bad because we have hidden information depending on what you select. And if you don't change the drop down, you will never see the options. And it's always bad to hide information. So we have this uh, dialogue for the tablet, for the computer, and for the tablet and computer. And let's go over the fields again. NFC tag, username for tablet, email, and password in the computer field. And if you bring them both together, we have NFC tag up there, username for tablet from the tablet choice, email, and password in between. Well, that's weird and uh, that's kind of a problem because now if you remember the tasks we had to add in an option for the tablet user to define if he's an administrator or operator, where would we put it here just in between because it all seems random anyway? Well, the problem is the information is not contextually grouped. That's bad because the user has to make more effort here to understand what's going on, what's connected to what. And um, furthermore, we look at this drop down again. What would happen if we have one more option like access to smartphone? Add one option and you would get four more entries because now you would give the options for smartphone, tablet and computer, access to smartphone and tablet, smartphone and computer, tablet and computer and finally for all of them smartphone tablet and computer and this just doesn't scale i mean um, a drop down in this case is just not scalable if we add more options you would get exponentially more entries and it would get cluttered and really hard to navigate for the user and now how to find a solution well, here's our process we took with this project. And keep in mind, the process might change for each project. Let's collect all the elements. Okay, we took this dialog and we now have uh, add user, first name, surname. And then we have the type, access to tablet, access to computer. And the NFC tag and uh, the username for tablet belong both to tablet, so we have NFC tag, username for tablet, and now we have this new option down here. Let's also put it to tablet, the role, administrator, or operator. And finally, we have the computer with the email and password field, and the buttons for canceling and saving or adding users. So that's it. And then the second step in our process was to analyze and reconstruct. So we have this information on the side here and let's draw a wireframe right away. Um, first, we have the title, add user. Um, we have first name and surname. They are necessary for every single user. And then we also have the type. And here we have access to computer and access to tablet. You can actually select each one separately or both. So this is a typical multiple choice selection and this is usually solved by checkboxes. So let's take checkboxes, select device access, access to tablet, access to computer. And now we have the tablet part. Um, these are necessary options for the tablet users. Um, NFC tag, username for tablet, and we have the role. Now with the role, it's different than up here because you cannot choose both. It's an either or selection and therefore usually radio buttons are used. 
administrator and operator. And finally, we go on with the computer fields, um, email and password, and add the buttons in there. So that's it. Did we solve the problems we initially had? Um, do we still have any hidden information? Well, no, actually not. Everything you can select is visible at once. How about the information? Is it now grouped contextually? Huh. Actually, if we look at it, I feel like, uh, well, yes, here's the tablet stuff, here's the computer stuff, but it's still not, uh, it's still all over the place. Well, let's see the next one. Is this solution scalable? Well, actually, yeah, it is. You can add just smartphone uh, access here or add two more checkboxes and the dialog wouldn't explode. So we solved this one. This process step is usually just taking apart what you did and iterate. Always, always make more than one options because um, over time you will come up with more ideas and actually go over your creations and try to find a different solution just, just for the fun of it. This third step is always like reiterating and taking apart again because you see we still didn't solve the contextual thing. So we looked at our um, small information architecture pile here and actually identified these elements. They are still, huh, they can still be improved upon. So let's take access to computer and access to tablet um, apart and list the elements for the tablet below the tablet access and the elements for the computer below the access to computer. Also, we added these little stars for required fields we forgot before. Now let's see how this would look in a wireframe compared to the old one. So we have the same elements as before. Add user, first name, surname, and select device access, cancel and save buttons. But what changed this time is we actually grouped the content um, based on the access to tablet and access to computer. Now it's very clearly where to put the elements. We also changed the um, the order because the NFC tag is not required so we put it down below and also for the computer yeah all the information is here one more thing um, as these fields are not active yet and overall it might look a little bit cluttered and we grade out um, these areas that are not active yet so actually your options are highlighted and um, the options within are also visible are by not active. So this is our solution. Now that we solved all the problems, the next step would be creating your UI for it. As this is mostly focused on the problem solving part, I'm going to skip over the UI creation, just throw up something here and could be improved upon. But the focus was uh, information architecture, how to solve the problem, adding the role option and taking the chance to reiterate the whole dialogue to improve upon. And uh, let us have a quick um, comparison before and after. Um, the initial dialog was this one and you had this drop down. We split this drop down up into a multiple choice um, selection and um, actually put the elements that belonged into them right where they are. So it's now contextually grouped. Um, you open the dialog, you see all the options immediately. Sure, it still can be approved upon and if it grows in the future, if they have more access options, you might think about uh, adding more of these boxes or even just making them um, collapsible and expandable. So you still see all the options and you can just uh, expand them, collapse them and fill out the fields. But for now, two boxes were fine and would solve our problem. Let's do a quick recap. What did we do today? First, we started with understanding the problem and also in an extension, we analyzed the related problems. We didn't just solve the one thing, we tackled the whole dialogue while we were working on it. And then we defined our process. Here we were like first collecting all elements, analyzed and reconstructed them, created a small information architecture. And then we took it apart again and iterated. And that's what I want to emphasize always create alternatives and iterate not fall in love with your first solution try out something new try to improve upon it throw it away do it again well that's it for today like subscribe and uh, leave a comment 
tell me what would you like to see next and um, if you like this video recommend it to friends or first give me some feedback what points should I improve on and uh, maybe you have an idea also what what topic I could cover do you have an example problem I should look into I should solve hope to see you in the next one bye